Just to start positively, things might be extra crap at the beginning. I haven't really been out in the past six week sacrifices. This is my experience. Hey guys, so for those of you that follow my channel, you'll know that I've recently returned back to work after a year off on maternity. I guess this means that I joined the ranks of becoming a working mum, which is really weird for me even to say now because obviously it's a phrase you hear a lot, but I just never associated myself with becoming one. But now that I am one, I sort of understand what all the hype is about. Today I'm actually going to continue my 10 home truths little series that I started and do a 10 home truths about being a working mum. These are all my own opinion, some of the home truths are good, some of the home truths are bad, but yeah, I just wanted to get some stuff off my plate, share my experiences, also I'd love to hear what you guys are making of it if you're a working mum. Number one. I always do that, it's not 11, just to start positively, things might be extra crap at the beginning. I don't know why, it's just always going to be sod's law that, well this is what happened to us. You start back at work, literally the same week that Jack starts becoming really difficult to go down at night, so he wasn't going to sleep till 9.30, waking up all through the early evening and then getting up at 5am to start the day. So that literally started when I started back at work which did make things extra crap and extra difficult and so the whole thing was just a bit of a shock but I think that is quite normal and I would say that yeah at the beginning it probably will just be extra tough but hopefully things will get better which they have. Number two, social life and hobbies and those extra nice things about life might have to take a back seat especially at the beginning whilst you're adjusting. I haven't really been out in the past six weeks. Things like cooking, meals, um, doing bits like gardening that I like have just fallen by the wayside and I think that is normal and I'm hoping that they will get back. Like last night I actually cooked my first meal in a long time. I think it's just the realisation that you can't do everything. You have to sacrifice stuff basically. At first that can be hard to stomach but something's got to give and unless it's social life or hobbies it's going to be your family or your baby or your partner and obviously that's not ideal. Number three, you've just got to be super organised when it comes especially to things like childcare. So we had an incident the other day, my mum looks after Jack one day a week and she was going away so she couldn't have him and I just totally forgot to seek alternative childcare for him so ended up being like the day before and we had no one to look after Jack. So for us, it's all about Google Calendar. We put everything in there. And also have a little chat at the beginning of the week about your plans, about timings. It kind of sounds boring, otherwise things could go a little bit haywire. It does make things like organizing to go to a yoga class a military operation. Number four, and I'm quite impressed that I have got this far along with my home truths without mentioning this one, the G word, the guilt. Guilt, guilt, I don't know. Guilt that you're not bringing up your child. Guilt that you're not being a good enough wife. Guilt that you're not doing well enough at work and giving everything you can to your team and producing the best results you can. Just general all round guilt. Number five, I think you can't deny the fact that you do feel sad at not being with your child. At least this is my experience. Sometimes there are days when I get back from work and I pick him up from nursery and I genuinely think, wow, he's changed so much today and I haven't been with him. Um, so there is a bit of sadness in terms of things you might be missing out. Sometimes when I drop him off my heart aches a little bit. However, number six is I genuinely think Jack has an absolutely awesome time at nursery. He always comes back in the best mood. Whenever I collect him he's always really happy right in the middle of reading or playing. I just think he really enjoys it now and that's taken me a little while to realise and appreciate. Number seven, being a working mum is exhausting. There's no getting away from it. There has been parts of me when I felt like this is so tiring, I feel like I'm doing two jobs in one day. The first part of the day, spending being a mum, then you've got this bit in the middle where you go to work and then you've got this bit at the end when you're a mum again. Number eight, I think it's so important to make time for you and your partner when you become a working mum. Sam and I are still yet to nail this, we've just started going to yoga classes every Sunday. Hot yoga, thanks Hannah Max, you really like push me to go so thank you. That just is a really nice, really special time for us, it's only like an hour long but it just, yeah, it's really nice. Otherwise you just don't get to see each other, it just becomes too much like, ah, I've got to just survive and get Jack to bed, get myself to bed. Uh, eat some cereal and start again tomorrow. 
Number nine, when you go back to work, you get quite a lot of, not just time, but also kind of space in your head and physically back. You do get this weird sensation of like, oh, I've got some time back to read a newspaper on the tube, or oh, I've got my hands back to hold a coffee in a bag, and I'm not like attached to a buggy. It's really weird. You get a bit of you back, I suppose. I personally wasn't one of those people that felt really brain dead when I was on maternity leave, but there is something about having just yourself and only yourself to focus on and not someone else as well. That kind of might sound a bit hippy dippy, but I hope you know what I mean. And number 10, when you're a working mum, for me, one of the nicest things that I didn't expect to happen, and a big home truth for me, was that feeling of being reunited with your baby at the end of the day. It's so amazing. I can only compare it to when you actually give birth, because I think what it is is a massive surge of oxytocin when you see them again. And yeah, it's just, it's the nicest thing. Those are my 10 home truths about being a working mum. I hope they were of some use or interest. Um, I'd love to hear your experiences if you're a working mum and any tips and tricks you've got. I think I'm gonna be doing much more of these just to camera pieces rather than the vlogging. I'm really enjoying them, I'm using it as a nice way to sort of channel my thoughts and just get them out. Thanks for watching. Also awkward at the end of the video, bye. <laughs>